Of course, we uh, or for this afternoon. Yeah, we have some beautiful blue skies out there uh, for right now, but that is going to quickly change as we head throughout our afternoon and evening hours. Of course, as look at the system in hold. Yeah, this is going to be continuing to roll through our area and you definitely see this line of storms starting to develop uh, just into northern Michigan. Eventually, we'll start to see a lot of those storms start to spark up and eventually roll through our area by this afternoon and evening. Taking a closer look, we did see a few showers this morning uh, throughout the last couple hours. None of those were strong to severe. There's just a few showers that rolled through our area for this morning. Taking a wider look at this, let's look at that storm risk for today. We did see that risk be enhanced or pretty much increased to an enhanced risk for today. That will be the chance of some more severe weather that we'll likely see as we go throughout the afternoon and evening. Of course, three things you need to know as you go throughout this afternoon and evening, the risk for se severe storms will still be possible. We'll be talking some damaging winds, hail, and you can't rule out the threat of some isolated showers. That timeline as well will be at possibly 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. for tonight. Of course, to break it all down for you, we have Chief Meteorologist joining us to break down what you can expect as you go throughout this afternoon. Chris? Yeah, Matt, we also like to share what's new because, of course, we continue to get new data in. And yesterday, we initially talked about this potentially coming in in two rounds. One is early as right around lunchtime. The second one after 4 o'clock. Now, that first round, not expected to materialize. And you may be thinking, all right, that's good news, but it's going to give more storm energy for the afternoon and evening round of storms. So we've already got some storms that are firing up across central Michigan, and that is going to be the squall line of storms that do move into our area. So let's time this out for you in the hour by hour forecast. We're going to put this clock forward. When does the storm threat begin? After four o'clock is when we really want you to be weather aware. Strong to severe storms will already be coming into the area across southern Michigan down into northern Ohio. I'll advance the clock forward. Now we're right around five o'clock. Those storms will have a lot of storm energy to deal with and more storms will be developing along a solid line of storms that will continue to push through the areas. We get a little closer to 6 p.m. And again, this is right around dinner time. We may have the risk of widespread strong to severe storms from Sandusky to Fremont down toward Tiffin through Finley all the way south on I-75 through Lima and that storm threat will continue as we go into the evening 7 to 8 p.m. Storms that will move east of I-75 and getting a little closer to the I-71 corridor but still widespread wind damage large hail two inches in diameter and we can't rule out the risk of a few isolated tornadoes as a few of those storms could have some rotation with them. When are we going to be all clear of this threat? It may not be till after nine o'clock storms will be moving off to the south and to the east, and that severe threat will be waning as we go through dusk tonight. We'll send it back over to Matt Willoughby, and Matt, you're going to break down some of those threats. You and I were both looking large hail and wind gusts are probably the two highest threats with this system. Yeah, exactly, Chris. Some of those main threats are uh, some wind gusts. We're talking 70 miles per hour wind gusts or more as we go throughout this evening, and then eventually that large hail. Yeah, it could be over an inch. So yeah, we're talking about some damaging hail as well. And of course, that tornado threat is a little bit lower, but it cannot be ruled out as we go throughout this evening. Take it through the next four days. Of course, we do have our alert day for our Thursday where temperatures will be into the mid 80s. But hey, we have some nice at least quieter weather as we go through our Friday, Saturday, and even into your weekend where temperatures will be in the lower 80s. And here's a look at your extended forecast. Of course, we have that alert day in effect for your Thursday. We would like to see some strong to severe thunderstorms as we go throughout today. But hey, it gets much quieter as we head throughout Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We got a nice weekend ahead for us, so get out and enjoy it as we go throughout this weekend before we see more storms on the way from Monday. And eventually, we warm up nicely as we go throughout the later part of next week. We're talking upper 80s and even 90s coming back to the forecast by next week. So obviously we need to have a safety plan for this evening, but if you haven't brought in those umbrellas or the patio furniture, you know, all that stuff could really be flying around tonight. And it's a nice thing. We actually have time to prepare for right. this one. We still have about four hours away before our first storms make their way into the area. So if you have to button up a few things, mm -hmm. get a few things done and a great tool to be informed is the WTL 11 weather app. Yeah. Matt's been working all morning to keep that updated and it has great information on the timing and the storm threat. Okay. Thanks for keeping us updated. Oh, yeah, no problem. We appreciate it. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of you. Here. It's going to be a busy afternoon it and a busy be. evening. And uh, Matt and I will have you covered through the course of the All day right. today. Sounds good. Thank you so much.